Uh, if you've been to previous summits, you'll know that it's an opportunity to learn about topics that affect Northeast Ohio, hear from experts on the subjects, and network with other people with similar concerns who can offer different perspectives. This year, we have 191 people registered, which is one of our largest summits. Uh, I want to thank the NOACA Governing Board members for their enthusiastic support of this and previous summits, as well as their policy-making role here at NOACA. We appreciate their efforts as regional leaders. I also want to thank the NOACA staff for their hard work and dedication to excellence. Many of them helped make this summit a reality. The summit is also a time to learn about the important work that NOACA has been doing. The NOACA staff has produced the summit report. There it is. Uh, that highlights some of the activities. Just yesterday, we learned that uh, the Honorable Frank G. Jackson, Mayor of Cleveland, is regrettably unable to attend the summit today. Uh, he asked to express his regrets and welcome you to the summit and the city of Cleveland on his behalf. Mayor Jackson has been a strong advocate for the city, Northeast Ohio, and, uh, and NOACA. He demonstrates strong leadership in seeking regional solutions, and we always appreciate his support. So uh, uh, welcome in the name of Mayor Frank G. Jackson. Sorry he's not here. I will now turn the microphone over to Ed Jurz, Director of Regional Collaboration for Cuyahoga County and the President of NOACA's Governing Board. Ed? Thank you. Good morning. Uh, as Howard said, I'm Ed Jurz. I am the new President of the Governing Board of NOACA. And uh, I'd like to turn our attention today or right now to the program for the day. Our theme this year is moving into a new era, and I hope that you'll find today's presentations as interesting and informative as I think they're going to be. There's an old Chinese saying, may you live in interesting times. Well, we do here in Cuyahoga County live in interesting times, and certainly here in, at NOACA. I think it's going to be more of an evolution and an adventure with a lot of challenges thrown in for good measure. One of the most immediate challenges we have here at NOACA is a transition to new leadership. Uh, Executive Director Howard Mayer is going to retire after 23 years. He's going to tell you a little bit about his journey over the past 23 years in a few minutes. But uh, for the time being, he's in his last, well, last two months. We just passed a resolution at the governing board meeting to keep him on for a month uh, to, to allow Grace Gallucci to do the transition period. So, um, but his, uh, his tenure here is coming to an end, and it's been, it's been a wonderful one, and he's going to reflect on that in a moment. <clears throat> the new director is going to be Grace Gallucci, and her official start date is going to be July 1st, which is a Sunday, and I've heard that she's a hard worker, so we'll expect you to be here, Grace, on, on that Sunday morning. Uh, she is returning to Cleveland after spending five years in Chicago as the Senior Deputy Executive Director of Finance and Performance Management and as Deputy Direct Executive Director of Research, Analysis, and Policy Development for the Chicago Regional Transportation Authority. Before she uh, left for Chicago in 2007, Grace held leadership positions at the Greater Cleveland RTA, and she eventually served as Executive Director of the Office of Management and Budget. And I know Joe Calabrese is here today and he worked with her. And, and one of the things that was really uh, inspiring to us as we were looking for an executive director is the, the accolades that we heard from Joe and from others who had worked with Grace saying how hardworking she was, how, how intelligent, how uh, visionary she was. So we're excited about her coming on board here at NOACA. Um, she served on numerous transit association boards and planning organizations. She received several awards, including the Distinguished Alumni Award from Cleveland State's Levin College and was selected as one of the 40 Under 40 Award from Crane's Cleveland Business. She has a master's degree in urban studies from Cleveland State University, a master's in public administration from the University of Dayton. She's taught graduate level courses in public finances, finance and economics, budgeting, policy analysis at the Levin College and she's also taught at the University of Illinois at Chicago. So we're very excited to have Grace join NOACA, and I hope you give her a warm round. I'm going to bring her up just for a few, so you know who she is, and give her a second to say hello. So let's have a warm round of applause for Grace Galucci. Thank you, President Gers. Um it was interesting you said it would be a challenge for me to be transitioning into the position. I'll have to take that under advisement. Um, hopefully I won't be that much of a challenge, but I am very pleased uh, to be here, and I do accept the challenge of taking NOACA into the next, uh, the next era. Um, I said this morning to our 
governing board that I somewhat feel like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, where I clicked my red shoes and said there's no place like home, and I'm back here in Northeast Ohio as the executive director of NOACA, which is a tremendous honor and a privilege. And I look forward to working with everyone, to serving you, uh, to build upon the great work that Howard um, has done over the last 23 years. I know that's a, a big shoes to fill, and um, I look forward to um, getting that uh, initial transition uh, from Howard and, and moving forward. Um, I do look forward to the successes that we will um, achieve together. Thank you. You know, one of the things that uh, struck me as she's coming from Chicago, and, and, and we love to get people coming back, they call them boomerangs, coming back to Cleveland. Uh, but one of the things that struck me was that she, during the interview process, she told us that her commute every morning and every evening was an hour and a half each way in Chicago. And to me, that's astonishing. But that's one of the things, you know, people who live in Cleveland know how livable this city is. And I think that's something that, that Grace is well aware of. Uh, and I think we need to stress more and more what, a, what an important area and what a good place to live Northeast Ohio is because we're so often too negative about this area. My commute was 10 minutes this morning. There, see, there you go. And I got in about 15 and there was a traffic jam on top of that. Um, another exciting change that, that we're having here at, at NOACA is a re redesigned uh, website. <clears throat> the governing board gave its approval for NOACA staff to enter into a contract with a consultant and the plan is to have the new site up later this year. There are also plans to integrate uh, the social media into NOACA's communication so that they can be more interactive and encourage helpful dialogues with project sponsors, planners, and the public. Those are exciting changes, but there are also challenges to NOACA, and, and uh, Grace, you'll be uh, addressing these. Northeast Ohio has essentially the same number of people that we've had for the same 50 years, but they're spreading out. Uh, anyone who's ever listened to Tom Beyer, well, he's, he's kind of the, uh, the, the Old Testament prophet out there talking about this, this expansion outward just can't sustain itself if we have the same number of people and we keep duplicating infrastructure. These are challenges we have to deal with, and um, it's going to lead to a lot of uh, reflection here at NOACA on how do you, how do you deal with, with the sprawl issue. We're concerned about keeping existing businesses in this area, creating new ones to attract new graduates to stay and to build their families here. Uh, Funding is always, always an important issue, uh, whether it's road repairs, bridge repairs, uh, efforts to support transit, to implement plans to improve neighborhoods and communities. You'll hear an inter interesting panel discussion later this morning on innovative successes or sources of funding and dealing with reality that we have more projects than we have money for. But um, I also want to say, you know, when we're talking about a transition for NOACA, there's also a transition going on in the county. Uh, we have a new form of government. I'm very, we're going to have uh, County Executive Ed Fitzgerald in as the luncheon speaker, and I think that's a great opportunity for you to hear a little bit about the transition going out in Cuyahoga County. Back in the 1980s, when I was just starting my career, I actually spent a year at an organization called Cleveland Tomorrow, which was an organization of the top executives of uh, uh, top CEOs of the, uh, the CEOs of the top 50 companies in, Cl in Cuyahoga County. And what they did was put together an economic development plan for this region. And that plan really led to a renaissance during the 1980s in Cuyahoga County. And we, Cleveland the area became kind of a poster child for, for uh, renovation and, and for change in the 80s. And we've kind of fallen away from that. But what I'm finding now as a back in county government is that there's a lot of exciting signs. I was just at a conference this week with the Fund for Our Economic Future. They're doing a similar review. In fact, the same fellow from the, who was with McKinsey is leading up the study. They're coming up with an economic development fun, uh, plan that the foundations and the business community are going to offer to, to Northeast Ohio. You have a new form of government with a county executive. There's a tremendous opportunity to make decisions much more quickly than had been made in the past. We have a $100 million economic development fund, which is probably unique in the state of Ohio, and it's really leading to jobs and, and change here. That, uh, Mayor Sutherland, I saw earlier here, and she commented that they tried to do that years ago, but with the three commissioner form of government, you just couldn't get traction. Now we have the county executive, the county council, a more nimble form of government, so we, we are 
going forward with a lot of exciting projects. You, you look around downtown and you have the, the casino opening, which I walked through last Friday. You have the uh, medical mart going up. You have the convention center. You have the Flats East Bank project. There is a lot of excitement in the air. There's a lot more young people getting involved in, in county government and in, in jobs here in Cleveland. So it is a, a tremendously exciting time in Northeast Ohio. And that's why it's, it's great that Grace is coming on board. We're at a pivot point. And one of the things that I know the county executive is interested in is how can we make economic development and transportation projects be linked together? How can we make transportation be a driver of our economic development in this area? So this is a really exciting time. I'm certain we'll gain some insight and some new ideas from the presentations that you're going to hear today. I'm confident that if we all work together, we'll find creative and innovative solutions to improve the quality of life in our region. I know you're eager to get onto the program, so let me encourage you. I forgot to give Grace a pen. Grace, <laughs> excuse me. We have all these pens set up here, and I keep forgetting to give them up. Um, and uh, so I'm going to let Howard come back up here and give you a little overview of his 23 years as uh, director of NOACA. And uh, he'll give uh, a little stroll down memory lane, and I think it'll be a good start to this, uh, to this uh, summit today to give a little reflection on the past, and then the presentation will be looking forward to the future. So Howard Mayer, 